Hi, welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over overflowing function pointers. Uh, this is an example from John Erickson's book, Heck and the Art of Exploitation. Uh, and in chapter two, he has a program called the Game of Chance. So if we open that up uh, and look at the top here, this is the function that will be overflowing. Um, and you can see right above that, uh, this is a likely place for the overflow to happen, uh, the name buffer. Um, and since this user structure right here is a global variable, uh, that memory is going to be allocated in the BSS uh, segment. And if we look at where that name is being set, you can see there's nothing limiting the input there uh, except the new line character. So an overflow is possible. And in order um, for this overflow um, to happen, we need to um, have that current game pointer be called um, after a game has been selected from the menu. So uh, real quick, we'll just um, go ahead and play a quick game just to show you. So we'll play the number game, I guess two, we didn't win, no we don't want to play again, and then, um, so the current game pointer right now is set to the game one, and then what we want to do is we want to change our name, and then we want to play another game, and that's when that current game pointer is going to be uh, called again and it's going to be overwritten um, with the data we're about to enter. So uh, first let's go ahead and recompile the source with the debugging symbol so we can take a look at uh, the memory. player's name and the current game and this shows us that the name buffer is 100 bytes from uh, the current game so now we can run the function uh, that we want to be called after our overflow happens. And we'll do that by taking a look at um, the list symbols in the object files. And then and we'll go ahead and use the jackpot. That would be nice. x.c5, x.8u, 0408. So we'll go ahead and create a script instead of playing the game. And we'll use Perl for that. So right here we're just um, scripting our menu options. Now we're inserting um, 100 bytes for the main buffer. Now we're going to insert the address of the function that we want to call, which in this case is jackpot.
And we're going to play another game. So to go over this again, uh, the menu options right here, we're, we're playing a game. Uh, we're changing our name. Um, we're inserting 100 bytes in there. And then at the end of that string, we're inserting the address of the function that we want to call. Um, and then we're going to play a game again. And when that um, current game pointer is called, um, it's going to use this overflowed address. So we'll go ahead and run that. And as you can see, we hit the jackpot. And just for the sake of an example, we'll go ahead and change our function that we want called. We'll um, show the high score. X is zero AD score four zero And this time instead of the jackpot, we should see the high score printed.